Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over the SEO tools page. Um, you can find it under tools and settings. You'll see SEO tools. Uh, what this is is basically just a, a whole lot of SEO tools and um, different things that can help you out in your SEO campaigns. Up top we have what we call our premium tools. Um, and then you'll see just a ton of other different tools that you can use. Um, they're all categorized under different categories and you could search by category as well. I'm not going to go into what all these are, but like backlink checker, link analyzer, uh, there's just tons of them. Um, and even, you know, on page, off page tools just to help you with your uh, SEO campaigns. Um, I will though go over really quickly what our premium tools do because um, those might not be as self-explanatory. So our website report and grader, basically you just type in a URL, we'll do fullcontrolseo.com and generate report. Take about a minute or two to generate the report and what this is is it goes and finds just tons of information about your site and gives you an SEO grade um, of what our uh, tool thinks your SEO overall score is for your site. Um, now granted you could take that or leave that uh, but this is not really totally about the actual score. See so it graded our site a 52 but it's more about what you see, the information you get from this tool. So let's uh, take a look at it. It gives you some stats, um, the domain authority, the Moz rank, um, Monthly traffic, this, uh, unless you're getting a lot of monthly traffic, it'll always show as zero um, because many websites won't even put you on their charts until you're doing really well. Give you your Alexa rank, your page rank, um, the amount of index pages, um, the amount of domains linking in, the top search terms that people are finding you by. Um, here's a score summary. It gives you a little on-page uh, analysis. Um, as you can see, just different things, when your domain is going to expire. Uh, it gives you your social score. So, for example, um, it shows that we have uh, four Twitter tweets, a couple of Facebook likes, Google+, Plus, um, Delicious, how many times we've been shared, how many stumbles. Um, we don't have any LinkedIn or Pinterest. So it just gives you an overall idea of these sorts of things. Um, and it's just a great way to just check over your site, see what our tools are finding for you and uh, check your social stats and stuff like that. And then you could uh, read some of the info. We give a little bit of information on how you might better your score. Um, so it's a cool little tool that gives a good overview of um, your sites or your money sites and whatnot. Our uh, plagiarism checker is basically our version of Copyscape. Um, so let's get an article, uh, use dog training as usual, um, we'll just grab the Wikipedia, just grab a little piece. Alright, so you would take your article, it can be spun or not spun, and you just put it in and then you check unique. And what this does is it goes out to Google and uh, sees if your article is found in their index at all. And this will give you an idea of how unique your article is. It, it basically splits your article into pieces and checks little pieces and then uh, returns back whether it's found those pieces within Google. Um, so the higher unique means the less pieces of your article it's, it's found in that exact form on Google. Um, so when you do spun articles, you might get, you know, 60% unique, which means it's found certain portions, but not all. Um, personally, I try to only use articles that get between 80 and 100% unique on here. Um, but let's see what this comes up with. This should come up as 0% unique because each portion of this article is found. And it does. So it's 0% unique. And what's cool is then you could go and see um, where it's found. Each portion that it's searched it'll show you what results it came up with. So let's say you bought an article from a writer that said it was 100% unique. Um, before you pay or whatever, you could just throw it in here 
um, check its uniqueness. It'll find if any of the parts have been found on Google, and uh, you can see where it's found and why the article is not unique. Um, and it's a great way to check how good your spins are. Um, you know, a lot of these, uh, you buy these, uh, you know, highly spun articles, but then you throw it in here and you see that so many of the variations have already been indexed, it's not even worth using. So it's a cool tool on many levels. So now our LSI research tool, let me load it up, is a, is a cool way to just uh, get some extra LSI keywords that you'd use in your articles or maybe your link building campaigns. Just a cool way of finding some extra uh, words that relate to your keyword that Google likes to see. Um, so as usual, let's stick with dog training. Um, and you can see it just gives you a, a nice list. Uh, training, puppy, breed, rescue command. It splits it up in words, two word phrases, three word phrases. Uh, your dog, dog training. And you'll see it searches the top sites that it found on Google. And then it uh, parses those pages and finds what are the most common words. So you'll see what Google is associating with your keyword. So this is a cool, cool way to uh, really um, give your articles on your money sites the extra edge. And also a great way to add some extra uh, words, keywords that you know that Google is relating um, to your keyword into your link building campaigns as well. Um, so there's a lot of uses for this. Our guest post finder, um, let's load that up. That'll take you, this is all, this is part of the uh, full control SEO forum as well. So we'll do the usual oops, dog training demo. Um, so you can choose speed, fast, medium, slow. Basically that just is how many results we're going to, uh, show we have uh, just ways of searching Google to find uh, guest post uh, guest posting opportunities and if you choose fast um, it'll be the main uh, the main ways that we search that we know will find the best results medium expands that a little and slow will take longer it'll use uh, more searches but the best searches, the ones we find, are the most reliable opportunities usually uh, are all within the fast setting. So I usually just use fast um, and don't even worry about the other two. But if you want a huge list of possible guest posting opportunities, you could use either medium or slow. So you just submit your query. It's going to take a little bit. Um, so what this is doing is, like I said, it's going out into Google, searching your keyword with other words that... Uh, will help us find um, some guest posting opportunities. Um, just give this a minute to do that. All right, guys, now you see the process is completed. And uh, what it'll show you is the found links, the actual links that we found for the guest posting opportunities. It'll be just the domains. Um, if you just want to check out what domains we found. Um, so if you click on one of the sites, you'll see guest post guidelines. Just a, a great way to find some uh, guest posting opportunities in your niche. Um, you can download the found URLs. You can download the domain URLs. Um, you can get the domain's PR. So this will take the PR of the domain. You're not so much concerned about the actual link that we found. It's more about the value of the domain that that guest post would be on. So if you went out, uh, this will just go and search PR. And as you can see, it gives you a PR list. And then you could uh, just save your PR um, URL list. And then you have all the domains that you could possibly guest post on with their uh, PR. You could throw it into you know, Excel or something and uh, you know, just go after organized by the top PR sites and just go by that. So it's a cool way to find some uh, guest posting opportunities, which are still some of the most valuable links you could possibly have if the sites are of high quality. And then our uh, last uh, premium tool, as we call it, is the anchor text generator. Once again, this is also part of the full control SEO forum. So... We'll do full 
fullcontrolseo.com. Full control SEO. Our keyword would be um, search engine optimization. Um, and then brief description um, SEO resource. Uh, you can make the description longer, but for this uh, demo, you could just use the keyword field also if you do that it'll uh, just block out these other ones and just show you uh, you just type in your keyword and it'll give you some anchor text variations but for this I'll do sorry I gotta retype this I'll do uh, the full full thing here so SEO resource Actually, I'll add the best SEO resource. So you just type in the CAPTCHA, and then let's get the anchors. Now this will give you a bunch of different variations of uh, anchor text to use for your the page that you put in here, the keyword that you are uh, most going after. Um, so it gives you a lot of different options. To make like a big um, diversified anchor text group. All right, guys. So now you'll see it's uh, spit out a bunch of different anchor texts, and this is great. To really diversify your anchor text. It gives you tons of options that are all going to relate to the, the URL you entered, um, the description of your site, the keyword that you were going after. So you'll see that it'll give you branded anchor text that you could use. Um, these are great to include in your link building campaign because this looks really natural. This is how a lot of people would link to the site. It gives you some generic anchors gives you some extra keyword suggestions that relate to your keyword. It gives you the Google suggest keywords, gives you some uh, LSI options. Um, that didn't look the best, but we'll fix that up there. <laughs> some of these, it doesn't look like there was that many three word phrases. So, um, but uh, then um, this can give you, create a spun URL. So if we, uh, if you decided you wanted to use all of these, um, let's take all of those. You wanted to use all these branded anchors as well. Oops, sorry guys. And you wanted a bunch of generic anchor text and then you just spin and there you go you got your BB code spun link or your HTML spun link and now you have a huge spun link that you can include in your articles that will diversify your anchor text immensely with really natural targeted and um, LSI uh, filled um, anchor text and it's really a, a great thing to add into your SEO campaigns and when using FCS Networker you could also just grab these and put them into a link set uh, grab some of these anchor texts and just make uh, you could just keep using this bot and make big uh, you know um, link set anchors uh, for all your URLs or all your niche